Top 10 Vegetables That Grow in Containers There is no such thing as foolproof vegetable gardening, but container vegetable gardening comes close by reducing problems posed by weather and critters. Another great benefit of container gardening is that you do not need a vast space or in-ground garden patch. Some of the easiest vegetables to grow in containers are nightshades like tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and eggplant, as well as fast-growing crops like peas and lettuce. Take a look at 10 vegetables that you can grow even if you do not have a garden plot but have a patio, porch, or balcony with good sun exposure. Tomatoes The tomato is the edible berry of the plant Solanum lycopersicum, commonly known as a tomato plant. The species originated in western South America and Central America. The Nahuatl word tomatl gave rise to the Spanish word tomat, from which the English word tomato derived. Growing tomatoes in containers is easy and incredibly satisfying. Most tomatoes are happiest in big containers and will need staking or a tomato cage. This support keeps the heavy fruit from bending and breaking the vines. If you are buying tomato seedlings, look for short, stocky plants that do not have blossoms yet. Keep in mind the larger the tomato variety the bigger the pot it will require. Small cherry tomatoes will not require the same amount of room and soil as a large beefsteak type tomato. Tomatoes do not like the cold, so do not put them out too early. Make sure you harden off or gradually acclimate seedlings to outside living before you plant them. When planting tomato seedlings, remove the seed leaves in the first set of true leaves and place the bottom half of the seedling in the ground. Tomatoes are planted much deeper than most plants. Also, keep dogs and cats away from this plant. The leaves are toxic if ingested by pets. Green peas Green peas, or, garden peas, are the small, spherical seeds that come from pods produced by the Pisum sativum plant. They have been part of the human diet for hundreds of years and are consumed all over the world. Strictly speaking, green peas are not vegetables. They are part of the legume family, which consists of plants that produce pods with seeds inside. Lentils, chickpeas, beans and peanuts are also legumes. However, green peas are commonly cooked and sold as a vegetable. Peas can be planted in early spring and then again when it gets cool in the fall. There are three types of peas, English peas, snow peas, and sugar snap peas. They are perfect for succession planting because they enrich the soil with nitrogen. Depending on the variety grown, most peas will require some type of support. Plant them in early spring. Once it gets warm and they finish producing, pull them out and plant something else in that container. Nitrogen is a vital nutrient fertilizing the soil for the next batch of plants. Peas are also one of the best vegetables to grow with your children, they grow quickly and easily. Potatoes Potatoes are edible tubers, available worldwide and all year long. They are relatively cheap to grow, rich in nutrients, and they can make a delicious treat. The humble potato has fallen in popularity in recent years, due to the interest in low-carb foods. However, the fiber, vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals it provides can help ward off disease and benefit human health. Potatoes were first domesticated in the Andes in South America up to 10,000 years ago. Spanish explorers introduced them to Europe in the early 16th century. They are now the biggest vegetable crop in the United States, U.S., where the average person eats 55 pounds, or 25 kilograms, kilogram, of potatoes every year. They are an important staple food in many countries around the world. Freshly picked potatoes taste entirely different than the potatoes you buy in a grocery store. They have higher water content and a bitter, earthy flavor to usher in the freshness of spring. Growing potatoes in containers requires a lot of soil and water but is worth the resources and effort. Containers also add an extra level of protection against fungus or blight, the thora infestans which spreads easier among in-ground plants. Squash Squash is a family of plants that comes in several different types. Winter varieties include butternut, acorn, delicata, pumpkin, hubbard, kabocha and spaghetti squashes. Zucchini and yellow squash, either with straight or crooked necks, are considered summer squashes. Most kinds of squash are brightly colored, like fruit but taste mild or savory, like vegetables. Squash is an easy vegetable to grow, and squash blossoms are beautiful, delicate edibles. Most squashes require a lot of space and a reasonably large container. Ideal growing conditions include lots of light, good soil, as well as consistent watering and feeding. If you are going to grow a winter squash like butternut squash in a container, make sure the variety you choose is not one of the giant types, which can weigh more than 20 pounds and topple the containers. 
Honey Bear is an award-winning smaller variety of acorn squash, and there are even tiny pumpkins you can grow. Lettuce Lettuce is one of our favorite garden greens because it is far superior, in both taste and vitamin A content, to the store-bought alternative. Plant in the spring, starting two weeks before frost. In fall, start sowing again six to eight weeks before your fall frost. Lettuce is cool season crop that grows best in the spring and fall in most regions. It's a great leafy green to grow because it grows quickly, produces for a long time, and isn't very demanding as long as you keep it sufficiently watered. Plus, it grows great in raised beds and containers, making it ideal for small spaces, too. Growing lettuce and other salad greens in containers is fast. Container growing gives you the flexibility to control weeds and pests more easily than in ground planting. Most lettuces and salad greens are spring crops although there are newer varieties developed to withstand summer heat. You can also extend your harvest by moving your container to a cooler shady area as the growing season heats up. Lettuce does not need as much sun as most vegetables. Some great salad greens and mescaline mixes you can buy for container gardens that taste great and look good in decorative pots. Hot and sweet peppers All types of peppers are part of the genus Capsicum, which includes hot varieties, also known as chili peppers, and sweet varieties, such as the bell pepper. Up until the arrival of Spanish and Portuguese explorers in the New World, peppers grew only in Latin America. Along with corn, tomatoes, and beans, the Europeans brought back some of the peppers and on their travels introduced the plant to the rest of the world, where it took off like wildfire. Truly international in their appeal, peppers have become integral to cuisines across the world. Both hot and sweet peppers can be spectacularly beautiful, especially orange and purple sweet peppers in containers. They thrive and grow boxes but can be grown in any large container with plenty of sun, good drainage, and consistent watering. Dry soil or overly wet soil is disastrous for peppers. One of the most significant benefits of planting peppers in containers is that you can move your plants inside if continuously stormy weather threatens your area for several days. Peppers come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Hot peppers range in spice level from mild to searing to hardly edible. Cucumber Though commonly thought to be a vegetable, cucumber is actually a fruit. It's high in beneficial nutrients, as well as certain plant compounds and antioxidants that may help treat and even prevent some conditions. Also, cucumbers are low in calories and contain a good amount of water and soluble fiber, making them ideal for promoting hydration and aiding in weight loss. Cucumbers Cucumis sativus are a fast-growing vegetable commonly grown in containers. These water-loving plants do best in large plastic or ceramic pots that help retain soil moisture. Growing cucumbers in containers is a great way to give them the heat they love. Hotter ambient temperatures raise soil temperature quicker in pots than in ground. There are two main types of cucumbers, bush and vining. You can also choose to grow a variety more commonly used for pickling or one more popular for eating. Both types are good in salads but slicing cucumbers will not generally make good pickles. Either can grow in a container. Bush cucumbers tend to be shorter with smaller yields. Vining cucumbers will require a trellis or tomato cage. Radishes Radish is a cool season, fast maturing, easy to grow vegetable. Garden radishes can be grown wherever there is sun and moist, fertile soil, even on the smallest city lot. Early varieties usually grow best in the cool days of early spring, but some later maturing varieties can be planted for summer use. Radishes are a hardy, very easy to grow root vegetable that can be planted multiple times in a growing season. Plus, radishes can be harvested as soon as three weeks after planting. Radishes grow quickly. Most go from seed to harvest in just a month. They also do not need much space. They can grow in containers that are four to six inches deep. These plants will bolt in hot weather, but you control this easily by moving the plant into the shade or adding water to cool them down. There are many varieties, which means you can select your seeds based on appearance and flavor. Some types are gorgeous. The tops or radish greens are also edible, as are the pods. Arugula also known as, rocket, or, roquette, arugula is a fast-growing, cool-season leafy green that adds a tangy, mustard-like flavor to salads. Here's how to plant and grow arugula in your garden Arugula stems from the warmer parts of Europe, namely Italy and along the Mediterranean, through Turkey and into Western Asia. A member of the mustard family Brassicaceae, it's a relative of other common garden plants such as cabbage, broccoli, and kale. Arugula is often found in mescaline seed mixes, as it grows quickly and has a bolder flavor than most greens. 
Spicy arugula leaves are tasty, and its edible flowers are a sweet treat. They are also beautiful. Arugula does not need a huge container, a pot 8 inches deep and 6 inches in diameter works. Another benefit of growing arugula in a container is that you can move it. Arugula needs about 6 hours of direct sunlight but does not like scorching, afternoon sun. It is best to let this plant get full morning sun and move it or position it so that it only gets partial sun in the afternoon. Eggplant The eggplant, or aubergine, provides fiber and a range of nutrients. This low-calorie vegetable features in the Mediterranean diet. Many of us are most familiar with eggplants that are large and dark purple, but the shape, size, and color can vary from small and oblong to long and thin and from shades of purple to white or green. A serving of eggplant can provide at least 5% of a person's daily requirement of fiber, copper, manganese, B6, and thiamine. It also contains other vitamins and minerals. In addition, eggplants are a source of phenolic compounds that act as antioxidants. Antioxidants are molecules that help the body eliminate free radicals, unstable molecules that can damage cells if they accumulate in large amounts. Foods that contain antioxidants may help prevent a range of diseases. Among the antioxidants in eggplants are anthocyanins, including nosunin, lutein, and zeaxanthin. The fiber, potassium, vitamin C, vitamin B6, and antioxidants in eggplants all support heart health. A review trusted source published in 2019 suggested that eating foods containing certain flavonoids, including anthocyanins, helps reduce inflammatory markers that increase the risk of heart disease. Benefit cholesterol levels. A cup of cooked eggplant cubes, weighing 96 grams contains around 2.4 grams of fiber trusted source. Results of a 2014 study in rodents trusted source indicated that chlorogenic acid, a primary antioxidant in eggplants, may decrease levels of low-density lipoprotein, or, bad, cholesterol and reduce the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Eggplant is one of those great vegetables that also works as an ornamental. Some eggplant varieties can get dense and heavy, do not use those types in your container garden. Look at compact cultivars like, fairy tale, and, Hansel, which are beautiful and tasty. Large containers are needed to support the roots of this plant and its bush like growth. Also, if you are getting ceramic pots, consider getting glazed pots, which retain water longer. Thank you for watching.